much, no. Still overall, though, of course, you can see Alliance, their three cores. Uh, nobody's been slowed down at all. Uh, they, they, they couldn't really have had a better start for, for the three cores in these lanes. Yeah, so far, so good. Like, Dragonite, oh, they're making a move on the top lane. Not enough mana for Ice Shards to block him off. That's FNG, a... he's stuck. He is? Uh, that... I guess, was the, was the Quelling Blade on cooldown? Could he... Could he not cut the tree in time, Nico? Baby, I guess oh. not. At the top. Of course, after taking that tier one tower down bottom, he's moved himself up to the top lane. We'll see in the mid lane. Polo's in and lower. I'll be able to grab Hanskin. FNG trying to turn and help out with Snowball across. Hanskin is going to tick down to the Midnight Pulse. Dream Coils drop down on them. Juggled. They've got the damage. They got Quincy him. Crew able to deal with Alliance. Trying to, to come up to the high ground around this mid lane. And Quincy Crew more than happy to fight. Top lane S4. He's hunting down Leslau. Of course, Leslau can't do anything against S4. S4 just uh, too insanely tanky for this Venno to deal with. As S4 is just going to be able to run down Leslau. Chakran's back up in He's a few in. seconds. I'm going to have to jump in from Quinn, and that silence may have just saved Leslau. As Quinn will keep Leslau safe. S4 going for the TP out, but the Malefice is there That's in time. Kill. Tag team should be enough. He is tanky, but not, not quite tanky enough to get away with diving the tier 2. And not getting the kill on Leslau in time as Quincy Crew having quite a quite a good tanky time. He'll probably change his mind after he sees that uh, spirit vessel. Maybe sometimes, you know, you need to die once. You see like, man, the spirit vessel is too strong. I need to be able to dispel it. Mid lane, S4 diving in. Uh, Polison, a little bit of an easier kill than Leslau. As there won't be TPs over in time to save Polison. Quinn's got to still come over. Yawar as well, but hands can. He's got his eyes on Yawar. He's able to set up with a the stun. They take out the jug. Good moves from Hanskin. That's the Blink Dagger reveal. Can get that jump. Polison is prepared, waiting in the trees. If anyone gets gone upon, he's going to be in with the snowball save. There's the jump. Venno, there's the focus. Lesnar will get the ultimate off. Snowball buys a bit of time, but Lesnar still ends up ticking down. So lose the Venno. They're trying to turn on to S4. Let's see if they've got the damage here between the three of them. Uh, they don't, it's S4, and S4 knows it. He turns, Chakram in onto Lower. The shards will block him off Lower, trying to get out of there, but the dual breath from FNG will find him as FNG moves in, burns down the Enigma. And they can go through like backdoor protection on the tier one tower because there is no backdoor protection. Nice. Just go in and uh, take it. Yeah, with you know, the two. I, I can be okay, super quick, super plus fast. 422, go. No, I mean, like, I it has to be mass. like one digit plus one digit number. But uh, you know, oh. it, it doesn't necessarily mean it needs to be correct, but I can do it fast. Like, try me again. Uh, I mean, I can't even think of a... Uh, you so can't even think of a number. A number. <laughs> <laughs> Bolison, he's getting gone on here. As Limp turns with the dragon tail. They've got the hands can stun onto the two of them. Your wire's falling low. He's able to get the Omni Sash off in time, but Limp, he's tanky with, with the split damage. It's the fourth and group up. Yawar's not going to be able to kill any of them here. He's got to run. Jumping for S4 is on top of Leslau. The Chakram cuts down the Venom. Oh, they're going to clean him up. gets Yawar. Triple kill for Limp. Yeah, I talked about how once he gets that the Blink BKB, he's going to feel... Watch out, Sop. Hans Kent. Setting him first. Dust will catch him. And so Quinn, he tried to jump in, but a very quick spike Carapaz from Hans Kent. Put in and it stops the initial jump from Quinn. Paulson comes in with the snowball. Quinn, he's got to get himself out of it. He's not in fighting shape. He's far too low now. They've got to back off Limp. Did pop a BKB in an attempt to chase on, but won't get S the catch on Quinn. And we'll be able to shut down Lowe's escape. Maybe even try for Paulson as well. You've already got Nico Baby closing the gap on Leslau. As the Venno goes down, S4 continuing to chase in and dive onwards. As Alliance, they'll move on and take down a third. Now, S4 is having a really, really good game. Yeah. Super tanky. What's wrong right. with this uh, type of an item build? It's just that well, even top Even in a game lane. where it's going this fast against you. Sure. Yeah, yeah. I, I just don't mind. Like, you need to have a farming item. This is kind of a one and a half uh, farming item. It's Dragonite is in. And black hole. going to go over the black hole. He's got the three of them low. It's a great one. They're taking down S4. They've been able to bring down another as the Aegis for round two on Nico, baby, though. As he's going to be ready to fight back with Limp onto Polison. It, it, it gets two kills and it gets that Aegis. Oh, it's the, the first time round. See if there's going to be any change here on this bottom lane. 
Jawa still desperately pushing out a lane, trying to get his next item done. He is close to having the Skadi. He'll sell the wand. Will, will allow him to pick it up. So at least the Skadi complete. Jawa's item still looking good. Unlikely to be enough here against Alliance. As s is pushing in Quinn. He's coming in, has had to buy himself this BKB this game because of how hard Timber it is. Timber dropping low, pops the cheese. And with the Timber Chain, he's out. s going to live. And already Nico Baby is moving in aggressively with a battle chance. Gets the range bash over onto Quinn. As Nico Baby will push back Quincy Crew. Ult comes to an end. You are. Moves back in. They should be able to find him at least the once. Still has a BKB. We'll save that for after ages. They and need to help him out. Limson, jump forward with the Dragon Tail, catches out Leslau, burns down Pollison. There's Alliance with those two kills that have more than enough space to take a second set of racks. There'll be a buyback from Leslau. Alliance, they're now up pretty much 30k here at 33 minutes. They are really making this game one look like a walk in the park. Yeah. Like, if Ice Frog is watching this, the status bar of the Dragon Knight, like, it has, needs to have an icon. Corrosive Breath, Frost Breath, Splash the Attack. Like, it's just a Dota 2 icon. I will come soon. In a few years, you know, those things will get done eventually. Nah, we need There's to make Dragon Knight to do, you know. look oh. as best as possible. Here we go, Dream Coil. Uh, but Limp don't care. Pops the BKB, turns towards Quinn. Quinn is going to get forced out to the side. Nico Baby's moving in. Pops the battle chance over towards Yawar. He chases. The bash is in. Yawar pops the Manta. But again, another bash comes through for Nico Baby. Yawar's down. They'll call it. It's over. It really is. It has been for a while. 26 to 8. 34k lead. Alliance. After a rough day yesterday, I don't think they could have asked for a much better start today as this sort of a performance. It's definitely how you want to begin a day of Dota after having yeah, a rough one sure. yesterday. Yeah, for sure. Like, kiting potential. As Scott is your natural item build, I'm a bit worried because, you know, you have Lion. Lion can actually cripple Medusa. He can cripple the Abaddon Tide Hunter tag team. Yeah, this is going to be too much damage. Oh, Nico, baby. Oh, okay. Having a bit of a jump in. Very hard for, for sort of Alliance to fight back here at level one. They can start playing a bit more aggressively on the bottom lane, possibly try to get some kills. See top, Leslau. Well, that's Maledict, might just finish him off. He's going to have the back up from Quinn. As Quinn jumps in, takes down FNG, and the Sunray, oh, it's not enough. The attempt was made there by Pollison to keep the setup. Yawar will be the big kill. As he prepared for this sort of movement, though, there's the jump forward for Lim. They'll start things off. As they burst through you are was very quick with the stone gaze, but of course they had enough burst that they just took him down before that was any sort of an issue. To the counterplay no, come out, S4 drops the ravage to hold back Quincy Crew and allows Alliance to take out the supernova. They'll turn towards Quinn and Lowe and they've got to run. Lowe has got the borrowed time. Quinn going for the TP out back to base. He'll live. But over to the side, they've found Leslau. TP over from Lowe's coming in. Leslau underneath the tower will be safe enough. Alliance can't dive any further. So able to at least. Get the rest of the team out of that. But they got the Medusa and good reaction time from S4. Realizes, I'm just going to Ravage. We killed the Egg, even though a couple of our heroes had the Fiery Spirit so on. We're still going to have enough time to actually do it. They also got the Finger Charge on Lion. So all good. FNG tries to get back in on this, but Quinn's over with a step and FNG will go down. But it's trying to maybe set something up onto lower whilst he knew that the borrowed time was on cooldown. out. Didn't have the backup, and the rest of Alliance focused on trying to take this tier one tower. See what sort of a defense Quinn can come in with. Jumps forward onto S4. Begin to burn him down with the Sun Ray. Leslau gets the trap onto Limp. And the blinks back up, limps away. Surprise. Uh, effectively, you know, you're doing, doing effectively a lot of damage to do so in terms of how quickly you bring down her effective HP. So on the top, Limp. Got the control. Limp, is he able to get out? He's not. Blink's still on cooldown. Limp goes down. FNG's going to drop the death ward. It's going to be enough to tear through Leslau. Lower as well has to back away as the borrowed time comes to an end. Quinn, maybe thinking about getting back in on this. Runs over towards FNG. Remnant set up. Quinn picks up a second kill. Yeah, Quinn's having a really good game. Like Queen of Pain getting caught uh, multiple times already. There we go, Quinn. He's going to get the jump on to Nico, baby. Nico, baby, having to put the BKB early. Turns with the Hector. Ravage comes out this time. It's a solid one. Catches the three of them. Sets up for the kill onto Quinn. 
Still, though, with the strength that they have on Quincy Crew, they're ready to go back in onto Alliance. They're chasing Nan S4. Their four will be dropped down by FNG, but a die four comes in from Polison. Gets turned upon by the set of Hanscape, but the Aphotic Shield from Lower keeps him safe. They'll continue to try and run down Alliance. Can they catch anyone else out of this limp? Blinking away, Hans Ken can survive. So go for the TP out. They got the damage. They don't. Hans Ken makes it out of there. Up top, Nico Baby and S4. They're actually able to turn and bring down Leslau. Leslau was trying to chase and kill off the tide. Couldn't do so. So Alliance able to get a solid trade. It's a decent one. You know, it was a good ravage on a mid lane. Uh, I believe they also got to, got the tower from that. But it's going to become harder and harder. Nico Baby, you know. Kind of doing the heavy lifting for Alliance right now. So no BKB uh, for 40 seconds and Rage. It's a level 3, so it will be back up. Tier 3 tower gone. Medusa does not have any more mana. Like, Lion managed to secure that. And, the, you know, well, suddenly she's back to full mana. Jesus box. <laughs> S4. He's looking for a chance to get him with the Ravage. Jawa is going to pop the Stone Gaze and position himself so S4 cannot get back to the safety of his teammates. As S4, he'll go down, no buyback on him either. So this Rax should be a free one here for Quincy Crew. Not Without just the tide, they They're can't defend. Go mid. They have drums, the extra. They drain the mana, that's a step one. But you need to have some barracks. Alliance, one more fight, they lose it, game ends. Spun over the side of Alliance, they're trying to get in on the back lines, but the back lines are just able to turn and take out the two of them who make the jump. Hansken goes down, Limp popping the BKB to stand his ground, but he has to get out. At least four forces down the broad time. He's, he's trapped in the trees. And, uh, okay, blinks back up. In Alliance time. made a wraparound, and their back line suddenly became a front line. I mean, S4 goes in. It's a lovely ravage on the four of them. Uh, is it really going to have the follow up? The Phoenix is gone. But Quincy Crew, the rest of them just turn over towards S4. They're pushing back. Yawa in the base, popping the stone gaze. Again, Nico Baby using the enrage to just run away. As they'll take out S4, they'll move over to FNG and Quincy Crew, they'll resume business. Back onto the third set of racks here as they'll take out the tier 3 limp, jumps in, Nico Baby comes in, but immediately kicked out the snowball dodge off the Sonic Wave as well there from Les Lau. As Quincy Crew, they'll head over to Limp, Limp will jump away. He's low, they'll burst him yeah, once, but the Aegis is good to go. Quincy Crew's base. I mean, that's the whole point of the game, kill the enemy throne, right? But uh, they need to kill the towers first. <laughs> Yeah, when it's time to call it, Owen, it is time to call it. Well, this one's looking pretty over. As Nico Baby dies far outside of the base, he tries to distract them. Limp's going to buy back. There's a buyback as well on Nico Baby, but by the fountain, Hanskin goes down. The bottom wreck's being taken out by Yawar. As Limp, he'll jump in, post the BKB. He's kind of stuck again. We'll get the blink off in time. Huge amounts of damage coming out from Yawar with this Daedalus. As the racks have gone, the Mega Creeps are out. Supernova popped as they're ready to push back Alliance and the GG is finally forced out of them. It's game two. After a disappointing game one from Quincy Crew, they come in back with the same fire that we've come to, to be used to seeing from them in their performances here at the Major. As yeah. this second...